mind's been floating a million miles from home Head in the clouds, I've forgotten how I'm left alone Oh, been chasing dreams since I was young I never stop Oh, if I fail, I will get back up I get what I want Cause I see you in my shoes Standing where I'm meant to be Got everything, nothing to lose So I keep living my dreams I'll hold the ropes, I won't give up Our time is now, it's a fun Hello Taurus, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 9th of January until the 15th of January 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the two of cups. There is a beautiful start to a new romance in which you experienced understanding, harmony and deep love between two souls. The seed has blossomed into a tree of appreciation. Kindness and thoughtfulness will bind your two hearts together with the feeling of being simultaneously very special to one another. This card can also refer to marriage, proposals and engagements, particularly as this card portrays what looks like a wedding or hand fasting. It is a reflection of commitment between two individuals, to say that they will go through life together, always considerate of each other's needs and wishes. This card typically points towards a relationship that is based on mutual attraction and romantic inclinations. It reflects the clear, nurturing, supportive and heartfelt exchange of emotions that is the gift of a romantic relationship. The Two of Cups represents love that is nurturing, creative, clearly focused, inspirational and equally fulfilling. Outside of love, the Two of Cups reflects a partnership of sorts, be it a business partnership, friendship or even a relationship between a person and their pet. On first glance, the Two of Cups shares a similar message to the lovers. However, the energy of the Two of Cups is slightly weaker than the lovers card. Whereas the lovers is the reunion of two complete beings, the Two of Cups is a less mature union that stable as it may seem, does have the potential to come undone over a longer period of time. So, while the union is strong now, it is not clear whether the relationship shown by the Two of Cups can stand the test of time. Only the two people involved can decide that. Despite the focus on the two beings shown on this card, the Two of Cups also points to what is happening within the individual. To be truly loved, deeply treasured and valued highly by others, you must first and foremost strive to create those feelings for yourself. That is, when you work toward loving yourself, you hold your inner spirit in high regard, treating it with deference and deep respect. When you see yourself in this positive light, other people cannot help but respond to your personal sense of value in an equally positive manner. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the five of pentacles. What do you want most right now is the end of financial problems in your life. If you have suffered a loss, know that there are people around you who are willing to help. There is always a solution and always a way out, so either open your eyes and go to it or close your eyes and let the inner light guide you. Often, what has caused these financial problems is a matter of your own emotions, greed will lead to loss, anxiety will lead to error, possessiveness will lead to solitude. By focusing on the material, you lose sight of your spiritual development. You may be rich for a while but all will be lost if you learn nothing. On a psychological level, there may be a difficulty with your relationship to money and material things. If money becomes the primary motivating force in life and the gauge by which you judge your worth, 
the lack of it may produce anxiety and a sense of being excluded from the good things money can provide. For example, if you are unfortunate enough to encounter financial difficulties such as the loss of employment or an investment gone belly up, you may fall into the trap of losing faith in your ability to recreate a positive financial situation for yourself. Therefore, you should not only consider your actual financial circumstances but also your attitudes toward money. What fears do you have around money and wealth? Are you anxious about never having enough, or do you have faith in your ability to manifest what you need to live a prosperous, fulfilled life no matter what your circumstances? Often wealth is based as much on your psychological state as your actual financial state. In a world that often equates success with financial wealth, the loss shown on the Five of Pentacles can be a humbling blow to your self-esteem and sense of self-worth. This loss can occur in any number of ways but even though an external event may seem to be the cause, this card often reflects that the loss is something you have brought upon yourself. There is a spiritual loss that often precedes or accompanies loss of material wealth. The Five of Pentacles can also point to a time of being alone feeling abandoned, ignored and unwanted. You may be excluded from group events or you are being ostracized by others. You are in desperate need of support and comfort from those who actually care. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the two of wands. You may also be afraid to step out into unknown territories, despite the huge growth potential, instead preferring to stay with what is familiar to you. The trouble is your growth is current being stunted in your present environment and your world has become too small for you. It is time to bring your attention back to your original goal and understand the beneficial impact of taking a risk and stepping out into the bigger world around you. You need to start organizing your long-term goals and prioritizing what is important to you and what you really want to achieve. At the moment, it may seem that you want so many things but you have not thought these through enough to make them a reality. Start at the beginning again and meditate on what is important to you and what motivates and drives you. Look at where your passions are, and then start planning how you will achieve these goals. You have overlooked some important details related to your plan for the future. You may have been moving full steam ahead but have recently hit a roadblock due to lack of planning. You may also be overconfident about your success, overlooking the things that matter most. Or, you may be losing your passion associated with your goal and are becoming easily bored and demotivated. It is essential that you reignite that passion or start again with something you feel more inspired about. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the page of wands. You are experiencing a creative restlessness within you that is just waiting for some sort of expression, or, you may be on the verge of some sort of discovery or new phase of life. The Page of Wands represents the sudden creative spark that comes to you, suddenly and unexpectedly, and that starts you down the road of a new creative vision. Thus, he encourages you to express yourself and your individuality with light-hearted abandon. Listen to your unconscious mind and follow your creative urges, even if you are worried about being the lonely voice crying out in the wilderness. With persistence and a balanced perspective even the immature desires of the Page of Wands can be transformed into a beautiful creative vision that can change the world. Similarly, the Page of Wands indicates that you need to be positive and spontaneous but not overly impulsive. Your enthusiasm impresses others but if you become impatient or quick to anger or lose interest, you will put others offside and you will waste time in your creative projects. With the Page of Wands, you are inclined to give anything and everything a go. If you are enthusiastic or passionate enough, 
you embrace the opportunity to start out on a new journey or project and see where it takes you. You do not necessarily have a solid plan in place, nor do you really know where you are headed but you do know that you are excited about the possibilities. You are enjoying being busy and involved in various activities and projects. You like the freedom of being able to choose what you will work on today, and hopefully it is different from what you worked on the day before. Oftentimes, the page of wands is a messenger, bringing you inspiring or unexpected news, new information or a welcome surprise. It may be the birth of a child, a new and inspiring idea that a friend has, or a new opportunity for you to be involved in to change the world such as a community project. His news is nearly always positive and welcomed because it is often associated with change and creation. The Page of Wands may also represent someone you know or who is about to enter your life. He is a trusted friend who is devoted to your interests and will do everything he can to help you. His intentions will be honorable and genuine. He is here in your life to spark change, to help you see the world from a new perspective and to guide you towards a new approach. While you may look to this page as an amateur or childlike presence, he actually has a lot to offer you if you open yourself up to the possibilities that he shares with you. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the four of swords. You are feeling restless and wanting to do everything at once. Even if your body is telling you that you need to rest and relax, your mind may be pushing you forward trying to accomplish a long list of tasks. You may be getting quite sick or stressed as a result, so it is vital that you force yourself to pause and take it easy to ensure that you do not become completely run down and exhausted. You may also be trying to avoid any period of contemplation or meditation on a particular issue because you are worried about what it might bring up. You need to return to the energy of the Three of Swords and confront the pain and grief that exists within your heart. You need to experience that pain as it is preventing you from being able to move on. Once you have experienced it, it will begin to subside and you will be able to live a more fulfilling life. The Four of Swords can also represent stagnation and a lack of action that is leading to increased frustration. For example, a long-term marriage is no longer progressing and is spiritually and emotionally empty, you may need to take a break from this stalled situation and come back to it when the energy is flowing better. Similarly, the Four of Swords suggests that you are feeling frustrated with the lack of progress and change in your life. Many things have stood still or have failed to change in the way you were hoping they would. Part of this lack of change however, is as a result of your passive approach. There may have been situations that were frustrating to you or that you were unhappy with but you may have opted to just sit it out and hope that they would eventually change, rather than taking action to create a more desirable outcome. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Nine of Wands. You are so close to completing a particular project or task but at the last minute, you are faced with yet another challenge or setback. Know that you have the inner resources necessary to overcome any difficulty you encounter, even though it may seem impossible at the time. You are so close to finally achieving success, do not give up now. The Nine of Wands is a sign of hope and encouragement that if you stand firm and strong against your challenges, you will achieve your goal. The challenges before you now are only the last bit of darkness before the break of a wonderful dawn. The Nine of Wands is like the one last test or challenge before you can reach ultimate success. You feel as if you have come to the end of your fighting powers but you have the skill and determination in reserve. You are in a position of strength and by drawing upon all of your courage and abilities, you will prevail. Once the last obstacle is overcome, 
you are home free. The Nine of Wands encourages you to be resilient. You will continue to be opposed by hidden enemies and your interests will be questioned. Even in the face of such adversity, when you are feeling battled and bruised, you need to be patient and vigilant. Be assured that you will eventually prosper if you maintain your position. And remember, if you do not succeed at first, then try again. You may have experienced setbacks that now leave you feeling distrustful of others or even yourself. The turning point will come when you are able to leave the past behind you and to cultivate a more open mind about the future. While you have experienced losses in the past, it does not mean that you have to experience further losses in the future. Turn a new leaf and push on. Sometimes, the Nine of Wands encourages a risk-averse approach. You need to expect the worst and therefore take extra precautions to avoid any negative consequences to your plans. You need to be on guard and wary of any potential obstacles or opponents who may stand in your way. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is The Five of Fire You are experiencing some challenges. Other people around you hold different goals and values, and there's disagreement as to how to proceed and a clash of wills. Success is still possible, but it takes great effort. You may enjoy this type of challenge, or it may exhaust you. This is a competitive situation. It will be necessary for everyone to try to understand one another's viewpoint. There's a need for clarity in order to come to a resolution. Additional meanings of this card. Athletic competitions. Nuisances. The need to set priorities. Being caught in the middle. Bothersome details. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.